And so we celebrate the birth of a child, the birth of Jesus, the birth of that baby who brought so much love into the world. But as you know, if you've ever been present at an actual birth, the one doing the hardest work on the birthday of any child is that child's birth mother. So today I want to lift up gratitude to Mary. And I want to think a little bit about Mary and celebrate the one who did the hardest work on this day of birth. You know, Mary is pictured in a lot of the stories as this very passive receptacle who kind of just shows up and wears light blue and stands around and has a baby. But if you've been at an actual birth, you know it is very hard work. There's a lot of grunting and sweating and blood, sweat, and tears. And Mary was a woman like any. She was young. She was a teenager when she became pregnant. She was a young, undocumented Jewish girl, Mary was. A stranger in a strange land, poor, too poor to find room in the inn. And yet, this poor, young, unwed woman, immigrant, undocumented, Jewish, somehow knew that the life inside of her was holy. You know, we, we say now Black Lives Matter. And that is an affirmation that lives matter in rejection of all of the evidence in this culture that says they don't. It is an affirmation for Black people to know, yes, we matter. Affirming that you matter in the face of societal ig ignoring you, wanting to annihilate you, wanting to believe that you don't matter a bit, that you should disappear, is a supreme act of courageous love. And that's what Mary was doing. She was saying, I know who the world says I am. And I know that the world thinks this baby I'm carrying is no one. But I know this child is holy, is made in God's image, is a child of God. Mary was affirming before anyone else could that she knew, she knew the divine nature of this baby. And I believe it was Mary's love that created this embryo into this baby who came into the world. You know, Unitarian Universalists are not big on Jesus as God. We really lift up Jesus, the human being, the teacher, the rabbi, the, uh, the minister, the prophet, the human being who, was, who lived and who died. Traditional Christian creeds, you know, they say he was born of a virgin, comma, died on the cross. We're interested in what happened in that comma. How did he live? We're interested in that comma. What did he do? How did he embody courageous love? What did he do to be so loved by so many people to bring so much love into the world? And I think, and so much about child development teaches us that babies mirror back what they're seeing. And I think that Mary embodied such a radical love for that baby that he knew himself to be love and he could then pass it on. That's how it is. You know, babies die if they're not loved. They have failure to thrive. They, they languish. We are born so incomplete and it's only those around us who shape us into the beings that we become. So many people help to shape each one of us. And in the case of Jesus, you know, we're told in the story that immediately after he's born, you know, the kings show up and he's declared to be God and all this stuff. But Mary knew when he was just bumping around in her belly while they couldn't find room in the inn, she knew who he was because she knew his fleshly existence. And my friends, 
Unitarian Universalists would say that's what we have. We have our flesh, our blood, our embodied beings. We have one another. We shape one another into who we can become. And the greatest gift that we can give on Christmas or on any day of the year is love to one another love, courageous love, seeing beyond where, where the society says, oh, you're, you're not pretty, or you're not rich, or you're not perfect, or you're wrong. Seeing past all of that, seeing the beauty, seeing the holiness in one another. On this Christmas day, I hope we will emulate Mary. You know, I, I love Jesus, but Gosh, I hope that we will see the woman behind that baby, the woman who brought that baby into the world fully loved in a manger, in the straw, with the animals, but with a mandate. This baby, this child, this brown-skinned, nappy-haired, immigrant, undocumented child is holy, is precious. If we can see the holiness in Jesus, I believe we can see it in one another. Not because we live the kinds of bold, generous lives that he did. He's, he's a model we don't live up to, I don't live up to. But if we can see that germ in one another, that, that nucleus, that seed, even when the world says it's not there, then I believe this Christmas and every day will be a time of blessing and abundance and love. Merry Christmas to you, and may you know that you are precious, and may you see that all those around you are also precious.